Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I did a video. Um, got something pretty cool yesterday in the mail, and um, I wanted to share it with you guys. I've been talking about these phones for quite a while, uh, you know, telling friends of mine and stuff that if you're working and you need something durable, this is the phone to get. Um, look, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not associated with these guys or in any way or anything like that. But I just want to pass on things that I've, you know, that I've seen or learned or used or whatever that work, and that's what I'm doing. So, if you guys are on that iPhone thing and you have to have an iPhone and you have to do whatever, then don't even watch the video. This isn't an iPhone. Um, this is not a, um, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. Like I have to have the coolest new shit out. That's not what this is. This is a phone that's for. Uh, for guys like us that are at work, that we're not behind an office desk, and we're not, um, you know, you know, we're we're not in a safe environment for electrical equipment or you know, technical technology. Let's put it that way. So, the construction workers, uh, plumbers, uh, mechanics, uh, guys that are laborers, you know, stuff like that. Th this is the kind of uh, audience that this really is for, in my opinion. Unless you just want it for the you know cool factor. I have a Caterpillar phone, whatever. Uh, that's you know that's on you but this is the this is the new uh, caterpillar offering I think it came out a year ago or so and I, I waited a while to get it because I have um, I have a cat phone this is what I've been using for years and I'm going to tell you a little bit about why okay this is this model is actually the B15Q it's an older 3G smartphone which I've never had any issues with except for the memory the internal storage the memory on this thing is small uh, compared to most uh, high-end phones, so you can't run a lot of apps, not for gaming, all that stuff. So it's you know it's basically just a work phone. It does work. You can go online. You can go on Facebook. You can check your email and all that stuff. It's not gonna it's not gonna like bomb out on you. It'll work, but it's not uh, it's not a high-end phone. Okay, like I said, it's only 3G, but it does work, and I've used it up till now, and I've never had any issues with it. Um, recently, I've been looking into uh, into buying a new phone because cat came out with this thing like I said about a year or two ago and I've been watching it it's it's uh, it's got something in it that I've wanted to buy for a long time and didn't want to spend the money with snap-on or uh, really with any of these companies about seven eight hundred bucks from what I've seen some of them are a little less but uh, saw a lot of money for something that I really didn't um, think I needed to buy separately because I could get it with this phone which was the FLIR uh, well the thermal imaging camera this one happens to be FLIR uh, which is, uh, you know, a, uh, an industry standard from what I've read. Now, I've seen the videos, the comparison videos with FLIR and other companies. This thing is ass kicking. Okay, the FLIR is great. Um, that aside, uh, these these phones. I've I've been using these phones for years now, for about four or five years. I've been using Caterpillar phones, maybe a little longer. Um, I had the older, the original smartphone that I think that they came out was the B15. And the reason I bought that is because I went through three phones in about six or eight months because they all broke. And these were not cheap phones. They were the higher end, you know, technology at the time. And uh, Gorilla Glass, and they got all this crap, and they don't break, and they were crap, all right? You drop them once, they fall into pieces and um, never to be put on again, right? Screens crack uh, just by breathing on them. They're junk. That's my honest take on them. I've had enough of them to, to be able to say that and I spent enough money and threw it in the garbage for these crap phones. So you could have your iPhones and you could have all your uh, high-end bowl or whatever that um, that are nice when you're sitting in your living room and you don't even need a freaking smartphone because you have a laptop. But whatever, they, they suck. All right, that's my honest take on them. They suck. Um, these phones do not come with a case. Uh, they, they have no need for a case. This is the This is the phone. This is it. Okay, there's your buttons. This is this is the phone. This is that's the way it is. You don't need cases for these phones. They are damn near indestructible for uh, anybody with any kind of common sense. I mean, don't go torture testing them, hitting them with a brick. They'll probably break. Uh, don't crack. Don't hit the screen with a hammer. It'll probably break. You know what I mean? But this phone has been actually driven over at work um, once, and I was like, ah, oh. so. The funny thing was in the review on it, they said that it could be driven over and it wouldn't break. And well, it was driven over and it didn't break. It was also dropped in a bucket of water, and um, it's waterproof, so it did no damage to the phone. Uh, it works on the water, as a matter of fact. And 
that's one of the things about these things that I that I just love that they're they're adorable as hell. This one, the new one, like I said, comes with a FLIR camera. So I wanted a FLIR camera. I didn't want to spend the money on a FLIR camera. A uh, guy said to me, buy a Snap-on. Well, Snap-ons is more than FLIR, and I don't really think that Snap-ons is anywhere near as good as FLIR, which is what most of the, well, never mind, I'm not going to get into that. The, the FLIR camera's better, okay? Um, this phone, as it sits, is also waterproof, and it's, when you get it, you can see this has a switch here, and it has a switch here. These are two or five meter switches, okay? This is the switch if you're going to go into deeper water with it. You can jump in the pool with this freaking phone and go swimming and not have to worry about it. It'll work in the water. Um, you know, it's, it's supposedly good for uh, an hour, I think, or maybe longer, underwater. Um, and we're not talking a cup of water or rainwater. We're talking five meters, okay? This thing, this thing is badass. Now, this has, uh, it has some pretty cool features on it. It has a little SOS button here. You flip this open and... Um, you can program that to send a text message, I think, to three different people. Uh, and it'll give you a location, uh, you know, everything, GPS, like location, all that stuff. And whatever message you send, like help, you know, I fell in a ditch, whatever, you know, whatever the hell you're going to say. Or, uh, you know, that's that. This is a programmable button. You can use this to turn on the flashlight, which uh, I did. A long press will turn the flashlight on. A short press will bring up my calculator so I can add up those bills that I have to pay and um, this home home button or off rather the screen off button uh, you have your three buttons on the bottom here back um, this one here is your home button for the uh, for the um, main screen and uh, this one here is your recent apps so you bring that up and it'll bring up what apps you had and you could reopen them from here or you can just scroll and shut them, like I'm doing here. But what I want to show you is the FLIR camera. So uh, that's what it's really. This that's really the point on this phone, right? Hang on one second. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over, and I'm going to show you something else. With this phone. All right. So. <laughs> Right. Okay. Let's see how we can do this without hurting ourselves. Be pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna put you guys up here where you're safe. I'm gonna open the FLIR app on the phone. Okay. And I'm going to show you. There's your. There's your stove. You can actually see the hot spots from the pilot light, right? That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to turn the uh, I'm going to turn the burner on, and I'm going to let this heat up a second. And you're going to see, you probably can see it already, the heat signature. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. I hope you can. Um, Take my finger off the freaking thing. Okay, now we're going to shut that off. And you can see the glow. Okay, you can still see the glow. Now I'm going to take a picture of this. Alright. Now. There's your picture. Right? Now you can, f you can actually scroll up. And when you scroll up and hold it, it'll, it'll show you... I wish there was a way you can just... No, you can't do that. You just you could scroll up and you can hold it up, and it'll show you the original picture. Okay, back down. Now another thing you can do is you can take um, you can take. See how the hell you do this? Wait a minute. Screw that up. I'm still getting used to this thing, guys. Uh, there it is. All right, you hit the pen the pin the pen point right. You can change into any signature you want on here. You can do this live as well. Okay, this is all different uh, different um, options for the phone. Alright. Now the cool thing too is you can take a target here and you can move this around. 
and it'll show the temperature of this thing at whatever point you put it. You can put multiple indicators in there as well. All right, you can put multiple indicators in this thing, and it will show. Um, it will show the. Uh, What do you call? It'll show where the um, uh, where this, wherever that target marker is. It'll show the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever you guys prefer. This thing is about um, five hundred and ninety dollars to six hundred and twenty-nine dollars, depending on where you get it from. And it's well worth it. It's well worth it just for the camera and the fact that you have a durable phone. Let alone, it is a four G phone that does work LTE, all that stuff. It does everything that. Uh, any other freaking phone is going to do and have none of the durability and not have a FLIR camera. So if you're in need of a phone or you know want to upgrade your phone, look into them. My opinion, I've been using them for like I said five years. I've gone through two so far because like they were outdated but this thing is actually now on a different level and should last for quite a while. Uh, I'm very happy with it. So I just wanted to pass it along. If you need a FLIR camera, uh, price out a FLIR camera, then price out this phone. You're not going to get the same. You know what I'm saying? You're getting a phone and, a, and this and this thermal imaging camera in one for 600 bucks, roughly. You're not going to find that anywhere, um, nowhere else. This is the only phone that has it. Waterproof, durable. Um, bought a nylon case for it for work. Cost me uh, eight bucks. Belt clip. Okay, I just um, I like good stuff. You know what I mean? Things that work, things that are advertised and actually do as they're advertised, which is rare. This works, and um, my opinion, so it's, uh, it's well worth the money.